The duo who found the Triceratops skull in the Badlands has been the talk of the state. Though that fossil was removed last week, the site remains very active. Julie Martin joined in on a dig today. Over 65 million years ago, thousands of dinosaurs were roaming this remote area in southwest North Dakota. Today, one of those fantastic creatures is being uncovered and is making worldwide news. This Badlands Canyon has been very good to Michael Chelland. It's basically my giant sandbox and within it, dinosaur bones. <laughs> Skull X and Alice are amazingly well-preserved Triceratops skulls. The discovery of these two pieces of prehistoric history have gone viral. Not only is the partial skull there, but we found some the Atlas axis complex, which attaches to the back of the, the ball joint of the skull itself, and then a couple of ribs um, and a couple of vertebra. Chelland has been working at this site for a couple of weeks, and today he had some help. It's kind of cool because not very many people get to come out here, you know, and nobody really knows about it. And then being one of the few that actually gets to come out, it's kind of surreal, I guess you could say. The discovery of this Triceratops skull was significant, but there's potential for many more exciting discoveries in these hills. Those are Triceratops teeth of Skull X all the way throughout here. Skull X and Alice have been all over the internet and social media, but seeing something this spectacular in person is something special. I didn't think I'd ever get the chance to come see it, you know, maybe see it in a museum or something. So it's a, something you don't get to come look at in person before it's in a museum or in a cast. Chelland plans to continue digging into the side of the canyon until August. He then returns to his full-time job teaching biology at Mayville State University. Skull X will be removed from its final resting place in the next couple of weeks. But as for now, people are out here just digging it. In Bowman County, I'm Julie Martin reporting for your news leader.